You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt. I've got a huge, huge roster of weekly spoilers. These run from Monday, February 5th, all the way through Friday, February 9th. We have a funeral. We have people back in town. We've got a little bit of romance gearing up for next week's Valentine's Day. There is a lot going on. Hey, if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's jump in with these weekly spoilers on Monday, February 5th, which is season 61, episode 104. Alexis is feeling kind of guilty. I'm guessing this has something to do with Esme stealing her corporate card and going over there and, you know, pulling Spencer to his doom into the chilly waters of the Sun. Anyway, Sam McCall shows up to her mom's office and offers to make her smile. I wonder if Sam at this point hasn't heard that Spencer died because he is family. He, they are all Cassidines, you know. Laura Spencer intervenes in something, and this comes with her after she asks Nicholas Cassidine, doesn't he think he deserves jail for what he did to Esme? So I guess word spreads fast, or Nicholas was really close, because you remember at the end of Friday's episode, he was at Laura's door with baby Ace, and we'll have more of that on Monday. Anna Devane makes an offer to FBI agent John Cates. Wow. I knew there was somebody from the past coming, but honestly, Jagger didn't cross my mind because I didn't think they'd bring back Antonio Sabato Jr. And then we've got this whole new actor who looks nothing like him or Stone or anything. It's just so blonde, so different. That's okay. We'll see how it goes. I actually do like the actor, so I'm going to give it a chance. Um... But yeah, it is kind of strange to hear Jagger's name, but we're going to be calling him John from now on because he's a big boy now. Sonny Corinthos opens up to Dante and it's clearly about the attack in Puerto Rico and he's going to share his theory that it is an inside job or someone close to him who knows how his security operates. And Lucy begs Martin Gray for another chance on Monday. He thinks she's hot for Scotty and it's just a whole problem. And later, Scott comforts Lucy, so it sounds like Martin may walk away from her. And Scott wants to know if Marty's even worth it. Well, I think he is. He's a silver fox, and he's toned down the foghorn leghorn accent, so I'm there for it. Tuesday, February 6th on General Hospital is Season 61, Episode 105. Tracy Quartermain confesses something. Ah, goodness. There's so many things she could confess, so... We'll see. And Martin is stunned on Tuesday. I wonder if he finds out on Tuesday what Scott and Lucy have been plotting. I wonder if Tracy tells him what they've been plotting and that she's just kind of playing along. Brick shares his doubts and his concerns with Sonny. No doubt Sonny has Brick trying to figure out who this security leak might be. And maybe maybe Brick doesn't agree that it's an inside job. At least not an inside job of current Corinthos Coffee and Corinthos Cartel employees, you know? Maybe it's somebody from the past. Maybe somebody who is coming back from the dead and brainwashed. There are so many theories going around right now. It's it's fun. I'm excited about sweeps because of all this stuff. Michael Quartermain gives Dex Heller a new assignment. I don't know if this has something to do with Nina or, you know, because his main job should be right now protecting Sonny and Michael shouldn't be distracting him from that. I don't think so. Anna has a big announcement to make on Tuesday. Then we're midweek, Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, episode 106 of the current season. And Finn realizes something about his dad, Gregory. I know we're all still hoping for a misdiagnosis. So maybe we'll see. Dante is torn on Wednesday and Spencer Cassidine's funeral begins. And then there's this peculiar spoiler. Someone surprising shows up to mourn Esme Prince. I tell me that General Hospital is not going to do a combined Spencer and Esme funeral. That would be so wildly inappropriate. Spencer needs a big funeral and Esme needs a plaque in the potter's field, you know? 
uh, where they bury criminals and debtors, not not people that have family that care about them and, you know, not where it, it's just so strange. So I wonder if someone shows up at Spencer's funeral and starts talking about Esme, because that would certainly be interesting. And Willow Tate gets a little closer to reconciling with Michael, maybe finding out that Spencer died at such a young age makes her realize, you know, we shouldn't waste time. She almost died at a young age recently. Thursday, February 8th, 2024 is episode 107 of the current season. And Michael goes to see Sonny and makes an appeal to him. I'm sure Sonny's still a little annoyed at Michael, but maybe Michael's just going over there and wanting to bury the hatchet and just make sure he and his dad are in a good place. I mean, Sonny's not in a real good place right now. He's freaked out about the mob threats and then he's got this stuff with Nina, now this stuff with Michael. So, yeah. Then we have Willow worrying about Drew Kane. Well, yeah, because he's unhinged. I mean, I, I just feel like what they're doing with Drew's character right now is to set up things for Jason's return to make Drew look worse once Jason's back on the scene. That's my theory. Because, you know, when Drew was around with Billy Miller in the role, he was sweet. He was just really likable. And of course, there is this, you know, backstory where he was held captive and was made to do heinous deeds, you know, once Cameron Matheson was in the role. But this new Drew, to me, has never had the appeal of Billy Miller's Drew. And it's not a reflection on Cameron Matheson. He he reads the words that are on the scripts he's given. I like Cameron Matheson. I think he's nice looking. I like him on all the little Hallmark movies and stuff. I just don't like this iteration of Drew Kane that they've written. So, and the writing seems to get worse for him every day. Chase has some worries on Thursday and Brooke Lynn Quartermain helps out Carly Spencer. I wonder if Carly has some kind of a crimson emergency and BLQ is able to help. And Nina Reeves goes to Martin to ask him for something. And boy, he better hand it over since he violated attorney client privilege when he caved to Michael's blackmail. Then we close out the week on Friday, February 9th with episode 108 of season 61. And it seems like Brooke, Brick, not Brooke, that's another soap, Brick makes headway and he finds out something might be something critical about who might be targeting Sonny. Cody Bell helps out Damien Spinelli. And I'm assuming this is something to do with Maxie, maybe a little Maxie matchmaking. Sonny finds out that he's not the only target, that there have been a number of mob assassinations. So somebody's trying to clean house of bad guys. That is quite interesting. And Carly talks to Drew about his revenge plans for Nina because he's not ready to stop no matter what he told Michael. And I wonder if Carly is trying to talk him down just because, you know, this is going to take a turn at some point. We'll see. That's everything I have for next week's spoilers for General Hospital. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon because we are here talking GH seven days a week. Please drop your comments on what you're excited to see and come back and talk GH with me soon. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 